internet and go over to our favorite free image borrower. <laughs> um, I live down in Texas, so we're just going to find an image for Texas. Um, if you look really close, this one's got a lot of jagged lines. Um, you're more than welcome to try doing this. Uh, you really got to know how your silhouette cuts and what your settings are going to be. Um, this is probably a really good one to use, and probably this one down here, this one looks pretty straight. Um, I'm going to use this one, and you want to try to find images that are actually filled in because in Silhouette, the trace function reads these easier than possibly, say, one of these down here that have a white background. Um, the easiest thing to do is don't select it, but if you hover over it and just right click, we're going to save image as... I'm just going to name this one Texas, going to save it to my desktop so it's easier to find. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, we're going to use this in just a minute. So I um, want to go over to Silhouette. We're going to go to Open, Desktop, scroll down here, find Texas. Um, I like, I'm just a center page type girl. I'm going to move it over to the center and enlarge it. Um, then we're going to go over here to trace, and this is the box that's got the little yellow with like the little blue butterfly in the middle. We're going to select our image, and this is our trace area. It's going to trace everything inside, and you don't even have to go that big. You can, you know, you can, if you wanted to, you can move it around, and it just depends on how you, you know, what your function is. Um, you'll notice it's only doing the outside. We want to take our high pass filter and drag it all the way. You can go all the way. I mean, this to me looks about halfway and you got a really good image on it. Uh, click on trace next. And if you select your Texas and drag it away, um, you can see that you've got both your original image and your cut lines. And you don't need that anymore, so we can select it and delete it. And if you go to select and go to your cut function and click on no cut and cut you'll see that there are actual cut lines so you can now cut this in silhouette. Um, where did my little heart go? Over there. We're gonna copy that and come and paste it over here. Some of you have asked how to um, some of y'all are making like the wood signs and some of the frames for um, ooh, let me get out a cut image you know, where to put your heart and how to cut out your image for, you know, where you live, where home is. Uh, you can take your heart. That to me looks a little bit big for a city. Um, I live down in Houston and that looks pretty close enough. Um, because this heart itself is an actual, it's, it's also an SVG file that I, I borrowed from Silhouette. I need more. I actually paid for that one. Um, you click on cut. You can actually see the cut. Um, so let me remove the color real quick. So you can see the heart. Um, when you click on your cut lines, you can see where it's going to cut both. Sometimes um, one way to, to keep this together is um, if you go on here and fill it in, it should probably fill in both, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's going to fill in both. To get your heart to cut out as well, there's two different ways to do this. You can either, one, select both of these, go up here to Object, Modify, and then do uh, Subtract. And that's going to keep them together as well. Um, a lot of people, and the more popular way to do it is select both, right-click, and make Compound Path. And so when you select it and fill it in, it'll have, you know, your negative space in there. So that's one of two ways to do it. Um, I hope this helps everybody. Um, like, comment, and feel free to ask me more questions. Hope that helps.